Bro, I could fuck with you real bad. Like, real, real bad. Or you could be like a vibe I actually do want to get to know. Like, you fine, you cool, you, you know. I don't care who you are. I'm not finna be texting you all day. It's just not happening, bro. It's, it's not happening. No. Like, it gets to a point at a certain age where nobody should want to text her all motherfucking day. It's only so many what you doings and how was your day and dialogue you can do through fucking text messages. Then somebody want to be mad at me. Bro, you never text back. You never text back. Bro, you damn right. I'm not going to be texting you all motherfucking day. Like, what? Hit me or something. Like, hey, call me. Think I'm going to be... <laughs> good morning, babe. Every morning, I don't even respond to good morning texts. I'm sorry. The first thing that on my morning is praying. God got to get my peace together for the bullshit that might hit me. I'm not going to text somebody early, bright in the morning, baby. When I'm settled into my day, that's when you'll hear from me. I don't get it. Like, let normalize not texting all day. Please. I think in this in this time that we live in, so many people have unrealistic expectations, especially when it comes to communication, right? I have dealt with several women over the last couple of years where they kind of felt the need to kind of hit me up every single day and a lot of times these women they will get upset with me because maybe my conversation wasn't engaging enough or i wasn't texting them and like she said in the video enough is enough why are we needing to text every single day this is not high school like when you first meet somebody it needs to be like a certain progression right because when you whether you are a man doing this or it's a woman doing this to you, right? What you got to think about is when you text somebody every day that you just met a couple weeks ago or a month ago or whatever, what happens is you could create this unnecessary pressure. Because I had a woman I was dating, um, this may have been like a year ago, and she would text me good morning every morning. And at first it's cute, right? It's like, I appreciate it, but life is a balance, right? I'm cool with a good morning text every now and then, but when it comes every morning, I expect it. And now I don't really rock with it. And she began to text me all the time. And then I remember one time she she ended it because she was like, she told me straight up, she was like, Josh, I feel like our, our dates are very good. When we're in person, it's always a vibe. But she was like, your communication is not where I need it to be. And I, I agree with her. I you know what I'm saying? I didn't try to push back or nothing like that because I can't give you what you need. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be texting you all the time. And I'm going to I'm gonna give you guys some reason why. I'm going to give you all some reasons why it's not healthy to be texting somebody every single day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play another video and then we're going to discuss this. Some advice. If you're dating somebody new or even in a new friendship, Try your best not to start out, especially in the beginning of the connection, texting them all day long or talking to them all day long, 24 seven. Especially if you have an anxious or even avoidant attachment style, and let me explain why. Texting 24 seven, being in constant communication with somebody, especially early on in your dynamic, creates this false sense of security. It creates this um, habit and routine surrounding this person. And it makes you feel like you guys are further along than you are. I think a lot of times, whether it's a woman doing it or a man doing it, it cre it it makes it seem like the progression is further along than what it really is. And for me, I'm a type of person like I like dealing with you in person. You build relationships with people in person, not over the phone. I've had a lot of situations like this with women just kind of feeling like they needed to text me every day and then they'll text me and be like why are you so dry and all these different kind of things it's because you're hitting me up every day and i don't feel the need to talk to you now we can link up but i don't want to talk to you every day you know what i'm saying i i met a woman up um maybe a couple months ago where she was like well you know before we go on a date i want to be talking to you every day hey that's not my type of style now granted if a woman reaches out to me between us going out she calls me 
you know one day and then you know just to check on me see how things going that's cool but if you feel the need to kind of text me every day there's only so much we can talk about because we don't know each other like that and like she said in the video it creates this false sense of we're further along than we really are we not we not there yet baby girl or that you're closer than you are constantly talking all day long is not the same as like quality time it can even be like hanging out with somebody all day long but you guys never go on dates or you never do anything that is like helping your relationship you're just in the same space so it's kind of like you get used to having somebody there and it feels like things are progressing quickly because you have this sense of closeness and intimacy with the person because you're talking and talking and talking and talking all day long but what usually happens is or hopefully it doesn't but sometimes it happens where somebody goes to somebody else or the communication drops off and you're like what happened well we were talking all day long so we must have been like this we must have been super close not necessarily not for everybody everybody doesn't look at talking all the time as that means we're closer um you know and you shouldn't either a lot of this is what you got to think about this is why you have to feel secure within yourself and have standards because as soon as i see when i meet somebody and they want to text all the time and different things like that i i can easily pick up that that person um they don't value their self like they should be because when you meet somebody we shouldn't be having a text every day i think the, the texting shout out to coach Corey wayne should just be for setting dates we should just be setting dates and confirming dates. That's it. Because the talking and texting is not going to do anything. It's, it's not doing anything. It's creating this false sense of us getting closer. No, we get closer with each other in person. You know what I'm saying? This is why you don't want to just give your attention away for free because it doesn't add up to anything. It doesn't add up to nothing. Just because we texting don't mean anything. And I used to have women that would be so mad with me because I didn't want to text them, but the reality is, I don't. I'm not a, a small texter type of guy. You know how you see people in the streets. Hey, how's it going? How you doing today? Okay, cool. People want to text like that. Just like how I hear women say the dudes be saying WYD all day. WYD. Don't nobody got time for that. I don't have time to just be texting you all the time. I like slow progression. And women who understand that is very attractive. Now, I'm not saying that. The, the woman to the shouldn't be initiating contact or a man shouldn't be i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is somebody that expects you to you texting them every day or they hitting you up every day that's a problem that's a problem that's an insecurity in that person and it, it, it's not going to end well the times it is quality over quantity what are we talking about versus how often are we talking what are we doing versus how often are we doing it yeah and that's the thing too right if you're gonna text me text me about something specific text me with an engaging conversation i'm not the type of person that likes to have small talk and a lot of times when you meet a woman and she likes you she wants to small talk every single day but we're gonna see each other on friday why do we need to talk monday tuesday wednesday and thursday i had a woman a couple months ago she was like um what did she say she was like um you know we had a date set for friday and we set the date like on a Sunday, right? And you know, we talked that Monday and Tuesday. I kind of let it slide because I could see that she wanted to communicate a little bit. So I was like, all right, whatever. And I remember Thursday, she was like, we haven't talked since Tuesday. So I want to reschedule the date. And a woman like that, I'm good on. Because why do we need to talk every day? We just met each other six days ago. And you want me to talk to you every single day? That's crazy. And you also, you want to deal with people who have the same progression as you, right? People who expect to text you every day, they're going to fall into the unrealistic expectations because they're thinking in their head that's normal when that's not normal. I like for my situations to grow progressively, right? You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, we don't need to be texting. It's okay if you want to initiate contact, you want to send me a random good morning, or you want to randomly call me. That's cool. But when you feel the need that every single day you got to talk to me, it shows me that you can't stand alone. I want a woman who can stand alone. I don't want a woman who needs to feel like she has to communicate with, with me every day. What else you got going on with your life to where you feel like you need to text me every single freaking day? 
I say this mostly more than any other form of communication applies to texting. Texting, texting, texting. We're texting all day, 24 seven. Be careful about it, right? For anxious attachment, this is gonna make you feel super, super, super like attached and like get in the habit of having somebody in your life like this wrapped up in it in your routines and like if anything happens it's going to feel very devastating when they're gone and it's going to be really hard to detach from that feeling because they're in literally every single part of your day so be careful now avoidant attachment you have to be careful too because you might be doing this as a way to avoid closeness with somebody right if you feel like you can just be fine with texting all the time um, don't really need to hang out, don't really need to meet, don't really need to talk on the phone, texting is perfectly fine. It could be an avoidant thing going on where you don't want to get too close or that feels like your comfort zone. And so like another thing we got to think about too is you want to be able to give people space, right? I believe in space on both ends, right? This is why women ghost dudes that over pursue or chase too much because you're not giving them space. You double texting them, you're hitting them up every day and it comes off as an insecurity. It comes off as unattractive. It's the same thing. And most of y'all men might say like, what you mean? If a beautiful woman is hitting you up every day, man, I would love that. I promise you, if you experienced it, more than once it, it's not a turn on it's definitely a turn off somebody that wants to talk to you every day is a turn off because for me when this happens to me and it's happened to me with women i was very attracted to and i had a good time with but they feel the need to text me every day and what it did for me is it put a lot of pressure on me i felt pressure because i felt like if i didn't respond to this person and text me back they're gonna want to call it a quiz i already internally knew that and that's really what happened. The, she hit me with the, oh, we have good dates and all these different type of things, but I don't think the communication style is gonna work. It's not that I'm a bad texter. It's just, I don't have nothing to talk to you about when I just seen you last Friday. You just texted me yesterday. You just called me two days ago. I don't have anything to discuss with you. And a lot of times people will put that pressure on you. So be aware of this. This is important. And also going back to the chasing thing, right? When we are chasing women, when I was chasing a woman, the only reason I reached out to the woman is to see where I stand. A lot of times people are doing these type of things because they want to see where they stand. And that's a, that's a red flag. When somebody needs to constantly see where they stand at in your life, it's showing that they're not secure within themselves. You got to be able to have things going on in your life and understand your value and what you bring to the table. Because there's nothing sexier than two people who both can stand alone and they don't need to be validated by the other person. That's what builds a strong foundation. Because it's like, we'll get to that point where we'll communicate every day, but it's, it shouldn't happen in the beginning because that messes up the progression. You know what I'm saying? So I think a video like this is important because um, I used to feel conflicted about this. When the woman I was dating last year cut me off because of the communication i felt some type of way you know what i'm saying but me looking back on it now i understand that that's not me i don't want to be having to text somebody every day i just met even though we're dating i don't feel like i have to text you every day every day you hitting me up how, how was your day did you go to the gym today it, it, it gets redundant you know what i'm saying it's like yo go go enjoy your life don't you got other stuff going on just be aware of people who want to hit you up every day and also you as a man don't be double chasing these chicks don't be hitting them up every day because don't be texting them what you doing and all these different type of things because all it's going to do you may feel like you're closer but all it's going to do is just grow you apart so like i say in every video man let's continue to put ourselves first all right, guys, that's my video for today, man. I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel as always. Guys, make sure you contain a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm gone.